G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through $1 coins again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. Again, we've got my $1 collection book here, partly filled with the commemorative founds we've found so far, and also the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two, which I'll go through first. Still waiting only for one coin out of circulation, and that coin is the T for Tim Tam. There's the gap right there. Everything else we've completed in the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two, which is from 2021, a couple of years ago now. Still haven't been able to get that. And then the commemorative coins, we have all of the coins, including the changeover coin, but we don't yet have the 100 years of Qantas, the Qantas centenary. That will finish off this book. Got a few nice, not intended for circulations there, and a few uh, of the newer coins that have come out through Australia Post, going to crack the rolls open. Unfortunately, I have had a significant amount of trouble getting $1 coins very recently, so I've had to resort to a, a backlog of coins. Here's a 2021 with the $1. It's a donation dollar, so that's our first coin. Cab off the rank. It's 2021, so it's a nice coin, but it, I've got enough of those. I've, I usually keep about 10 because our donation dollar is designed for donating to charity i keep about 10 and then the rest all go back to charity that's the mob Roos. that's the standard uh, one dollar coin and i'll be going through all of those at the end looking for years of low vintage here we have a common commemorative the 2002 year of the outback check that for rotation then we'll put that up there on a com common commemorative pile we have the centenary of girl guiding from 2010 then a very shiny mob of roost directly after that, 2019, but that's nothing. And then we've got Sir Henry Parks, also in quite ordinary condition from 1996, another common commemorative that'll go up the top, 2018. 2011 will be a Chogham, Commonwealth Heads of Government meeting. In Perth, Australia, another very common commemorative, and hopefully we'll get some... Uh, Decent uh, keeper coins, some Great Aussie Coin Hunt coins. Hopefully some new AFL and AFLW coins. Here we have another keeper. This is a U Proving Marked Mob of Roos. It's the 35th anniversary of the $1 coin in 2019. Part of the Dollar Discovery Series. Three Proving Marks being A, U and S. I'll put that down there, I'll go into my keepers because they are low minted and I do keep those as low mintage coins. I have quite a number of them, some of them in quite good nick, some in not so good nick, but definitely ones that I keep out of circulation. There's 1999 and that'll be the International Year of Older Persons. You can check that for a slight rotation error, but that's fine. That's a, again, a common commemorative going up in the top row. When I go through all the mob of ruse at the end of the hunt, I'll be looking for years 1987, 89, 1990, 1991, 2007, 2012 for mob of ruse that were not issued into circulation. You can still find them, they're very hard. And here we have 1997's Sir Charles Kingsford Smith, another very common commemorative. And straight after that, we've got the 100 Years of Anzac, The Spirit Lives. Five years of those, one of them's highly minted. That is the highly minted one, 2014, and the other four are lower minted. So I keep those when I find them out of circulation. There's a 2019 Jody Clark. I'll put that to the side. I think I've got enough of those. That is a relatively low minted, but I keep, uh, I keep some of those. Is another $1 2021, and it's another donation dollar. And another donation dollar, 2021. So a few of those coming out of this roll. And another Sir Henry Parks. And I must say, uh, this roll, these rolls have come from my brother. He sent me these rolls. Um, he's up in Queensland. Uh, APEC Australia there, 2007. And that's why I've had to crack them out because I can't get enough one dollar coins out of the machines or from from the uh from the banks uh, it's a bit tough to get one dollars at the moment for whatever reason so i've had to use some coins that my brother has sent me that's another chogum and also give me an opportunity that rolls that come from queensland there might be 
the chance of a Qantas Centenary coming out of these rolls because there seem to have been a lot more of those around in Queensland, Brisbane and that sort of area at the time. When they came out here we have a Centenary of Scouting from 2008, another common commemorative goes as this mini set with the Girl Guides and that was two rolls there and a, a decent amount of common commemoratives out on the table. And so yeah, we've got rolls from uh, Interstate, and because I'm running out of $1 rolls, here's the Centenary of Federation from 2001. Check it for rotation. It's not a rotation, so it's just a common commemorative. So rolls from Interstate. Thank you, Eugene, for sending me these rolls. Uh, hopefully we can get something out of it. Um, and also, it's not quite enough of what I usually hunt. Here's a 2005 Peace Coin, The Dancing Man. Check him for a card on his hat, but that's a very high minted coin again. Uh, and then we have a 2003 Making a Difference, The Australia's Volunteers. And that is also a coin that I usually, it's a, considered a common commemorative, the numbers there are uh, 4.1 million. It's relatively common in the scheme of things, but I like to keep that one out uh, myself. It's one of the coins that I pull out of circulation whenever I find one. It's a 2019, very shiny mob of ruse. It's another 2001, and it could be Centenary Federation or Australia's Volunteers, but it's a Centenary Federation without a rotation error. And then we have a dinosaur coin. So. Canabarasaurus, Australia's Dinosaurs from 2022, part of the Australia Post Dinosaur Series, so that will go as a keeper in my collection. You won't see that, and there's another one a little bit further down, you won't see that generally in the Royal Australian Mint numbers because it's a corporate program. Ella Frosorine, Australia's Dinosaur, Ella Frosorine. Again, 2022 dinosaur coin, very, very nice. Going into the wider collection, and there is another donation dollar, and it's a 2020 donation dollar. So I'll put that to the side there because it's a separate year. But again, that will go into back into circulation through a charity drop. And then we've done three rolls in, Let's see if we can. There's a couple more shiny coins in there. We'll see if we can speed things up a little bit. Um, there's another international older person. Speed things up a little bit and I'll come back when we find anything new for the hunt today. Oh, wow, there we go. 2021's S for Sydney Harbour Bridge, part of the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two. Very, very close to the T that I'm looking out for. So Sydney Harbour Bridge, Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two. For the first time today, we see the Landcare Australia. We look out for this for uh, what's well, called the wave card. Now, someone did bring up in the comment section of, I don't even think it was one of mine, it was someone else's videos, that the, the waves, even though they look like water, they are in the shape of a tree. So the leaves of the tree and the trunk and then the ground, even though we call them waves, it's an amalgamation of waves and trees. Landcare Australia. Very nice coin, but not something that we're looking out for. We have another Outback, and I saw, you would have seen there, we have a 2023 coin with the Memorial Effigy and $1 on there, so that'll be uh, definitely be an AFL coin. There we go, AFL Premiership season. Another one of those, uh, I think it's only the second or third one I've got. They're, they are in the book. You will see that at the start, but definitely... While they're so shiny and new, they will go into my wider collection. And there's another one by the look of it down there. Yes, AFLW's Premiership season. So we have the AFL and the AFLW, both coins out of that series. And that's an excellent find. That's set in one go. And that's it for that roll. And 
we have another Proofy Mark coin, the S from the AUNS Dollar Discovery Series. That's two of those Proofy Mark coins. We have a lot of coins that seem to be, seem to be keepers this time around. We got another donation dollar. Wow. That's another 2021. Donation dollars quite handily, 12 million in 2020 and then 5 million in 2021. We haven't seen many of the 2021s. It seems like then maybe they are coming out a little bit more. Here's another AFL, it's an AFLW Premiership coin, another Women's League Premiership co coin. So certainly a lot of lower vintage coins as keepers for the collections, they're coming out of rolls out of Queensland. Maybe it's just my luck. Oh, and there's another Sydney Harbour Bridge. Great Aussie coin hunt coin there as an ender. One or two S's. Can't crack it for a T though. And there, for the first time today, we see the 1986 International Year of Peace. The very first $1 commemorative coin. APEC. Over 2017, 100 years of Anzac. It's a lower minted 100 years of Anzac. If I can have a look quickly, it'll be on the screen. But what have we got for 2017? It's 1.9 million, so a little bit lower than normal. So that will be another keeper that will whack down there. Time is the centenary of Commonwealth Age Pension in 2009. Another common commemorative. Another and for the first time today, we see the 1988 Australia's Bicentennial, the coin with the Aboriginal design. Kangaroo from Uh, there we go, an AFL coin, and that brings us to the last roll. And we have another Great Aussie Coin Hunt. Great Aussie Coin Hunt number one, D for Didgeridoo. I don't see that very often, I must say, the D for Didgeridoo. So that's a very nice coin to add to the wider collection. And, and as we come through the last coins, there's another AFLW coin. So three and four of those. It's quite a few of those out in that. But no, there's a centenary. There's a centenary federation. No rotation. Oh, I've got a bit of dropsies today. Another a donation dollar from 2021. But no Qantas centenary, unfortunately. Oh, but there is a, a last coin there that I saw. 
That's some old reviews, but there we have the A on the preview marked AUNS Discover Dollar Discovery Series. So from 2019, so we have the A, the U, and the S. We've got a full series of the Dollar Discovery coins. Wow, that is quite unusual, even for my hunts. But that's a lot. There's a lot going on there on the table. Uh, I'll quickly put these coins to the side. I'll be back after going through the mob of ruse and tell you if I found anything else of any note. Back in a sec. Well, back again, nothing of really any note apart from one that I missed. I missed the A on the dollar discovery. So we'll go through those. I've got two of those A's for the dollar discovery. I've got one U and one S. So the A, U and S of the dollar discovery series, a full series of that. It's very nice to be able to make a full set. We've got a couple of uh, dinosaurs, Cannabarosaurus and Elephorosaurine. Very, very nice dinosaurs. Three nice looking dinosaurs back into the collection or the wider collection. We've got four AFL Premiership Cup coins. We've got three AFLW Premiership Cup coins. Very, very nice to get them out of circulation while they're really in good nick. Two Sydney Harbour Bridge from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number two. Didgeridoo from the Great Aussie Coin Hunt number one. Don't see many of those around. We've got a low mintage 100 Years of Anzac from 2017. And then we got some donation dollars. So nothing, unfortunately, for the book. I thought I would have a fair a fair shot at uh, things for the book today. But there was lots of 2020 coins, which is when the 100 Years of uh, Qantas is from. But they were all just plain... Mobaru seems like uh, Queensland needed a lot of uh, coins from 2020, but um, Melbourne didn't get very many. But I'll have to keep going and try and find that uh, Centenary Qantas uh, once again. But thank you very much for watching. If you like what I do, please think about subscribing. Give me the thumbs up. Leave a comment. Do you find that many low mintage and uh, commemorative coins where you are? It seems that... Uh, I'm finding a little bit more in the $1 than I am in the other denominations, but that's because there are a lot of different kinds. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back for more noodling in a couple more days. So I'll see you then. Bye.